Uh, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank that I will be reviewing is the French Tier 4 medium tank, the Sarl 42, the S-A-R-L 42. Uh, this video isn't going to have any gameplay. I'm just going to go through all of the modules, the guns, the turrets, the radio engine, and tracks. And I'm going to explain to you what each one of them means, which guns you should get, uh, which, ones, which equipment you can share uh, with another tank. Sarl 42, top speed 40 kilometers, which is a moderate speed. Four crew members. You're going to have one crew member more than the Somua S35, which only has three crew members. So that fourth crew member might have less experience and less skills and less perks than the rest of your crew. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's look at the guns. As you can see, it's a Tier 4 tank, and it comes with a Tier 3 gun. Another Tier 3 gun, a Tier 4, a Tier 4, and a Tier 5 gun. So you've got five gun options with this tank. Uh, first, we're going to look at the rate of fire. This one is 30. This one is 26. This one is 27. This one is 11. This one is 11. So these fire a lot faster, perhaps a uh, two-second reload time. These are going to be more like a five- or six-second reload time. Let's look at the penetration. The first number under average penetration is with regular rounds. It's 45. This one is 66, which is a way better gun. This one is 106. This one is 74. And this one is 100. You want the highest penetration you can get. So clearly, um, it's going to be between the 75mm SA-44 and the 47mm SA-37 Ameliore. Uh, the other guns have lower penetrations and the rate of fire is about equal. So let's look at the, uh, the average damage for this one is 55. Uh, the average damage for this one is 110, which is double. Penetrations are about the same. The rate of fire. So the question is, do you want the one with the faster reload time and half the damage? or the slower reload time, double the damage. You're going to have to make that decision on your own. Um, these other guns are just a stepping stone to get to a better gun. So if you do get this Tier 4, you probably want to try and get this Tier 5 too, because the gun is a lot better, and you can use it on a lot of different tanks. You can use it on the G1, which comes after, the BDR G1B, the AMX ELC, and this tank. Uh, I recommend one of these two guns, either the 75mm SA-44 or the 47mm SA-37. You'll notice that this SA-37 only uses two types of rounds. Uh, you also want to use look at that aiming time, the 1.9 versus the 2.3. The faster aiming time is good when you're far away and you need to aim because you don't want to have a wild shot that misses the tank. You know, if you like to snipe, you want a faster aiming time. Uh, the turret armor, the base is 40-40-40. This one is 40-30-30. The view range is 300. The view range on this one is 330. So you get an extra 30 meter view range with this armor, a little bit less protection. However, this armor is required to move up to the next tank, this turret. So you have to get it. It's just a no-brainer. Uh, in terms of the radio, this one's 300, 360, 455, 710. This is a Tier 4 tank. You're going to be on the bigger maps, so you want to have a better radio. The long-range radio, the 710, is important either at the end of the game, when there's fewer tanks and you're spread out more, or... If you like to do a lot of traveling, if you have a fast tank and you're always far away from your allies, you want to have a good radio to keep in touch. Um, so definitely recommend uh, getting it, but uh, don't kill yourself to get it. Uh, you, as you can see, I haven't gotten it, and I probably won't. Um, you'll have to decide if you have trouble hunting down enemies or not. A 710 signal range can see pretty much across most of the map. Uh, the 455 will see at least halfway. 
Uh, in terms of engines, 219 versus 230, I chose the better engine. I, I know it's only um, 11 horsepower more, but it makes a big difference when you're going up hills, when you're, ch when you're chasing after enemies. It allows you to kill more tanks because you can pursue them. Um, in terms of the tracks, if I have the tracks, it's because it was required. It was probably required in order to get the turret because the turret was probably too heavy. Um, so that's why I have it. Uh, the load limit allows you to get the additional guns and the additional turret. Uh, you'll notice the uh, traverse speed for this one is 26. This one's 28, which means the tank spins around a little bit faster. A lot of the equipment here, such as the radio, you can use on the G1R. It says Renault G1, but that is the G1R. So if you get that radio, you can use it. It's right over here. Same radio. Um, the same might be true with some of the guns. Uh, this one you can use on the G1R, the BDR G1B, the AMX ELC. So uh, you might want to get those guns and, and the higher radios. When you, when you research the G1, if you can't afford it, or even if you can't afford it, keep the Sarl 42 and keep on playing. Get the double and the triple victories. Get that extra experience to make sure you research the best radio and the best gun and play it on the G1R. So this way, when you get, if you play it on the Sarl 42, get all those double victories. When you research it here and unlock it, you can go to the G1R over here and buy it. And you don't have to unlock it. You can unlock it with the Sarl 42. Okay, so that is the Sarl 42. If you have any questions, uh, please post them below.